Hi, this is Ryan, week two blog um, for the final project. This week is the water element week. Um, so as a group, um, we've progressed nicely. So Benna this week has um, been experimenting with uh, sensors and um, he's come up with something for the water element, which is a, um, a bowl of water with a laser in it and essentially you can interact with the water by putting drops of water in it or moving your finger um, and that will produce a, a sound um, so I believe he's using pure data to do that with an Arduino board and, and some sensors um, so that's quite impressive um, Chris this week has um, I think with Bernard he's built the projection screens that we're going to use um, and he's also been exploring with Wiimotes and some different software and things trying to come up with some creative ways to actually interact with the, the screens. So this week for content I'm working on the water element. So when we talked last week about setting up um, with screens and different ideas for content and things one of the ideas we had was that we could set up uh, an umbrella and project onto that so when the user stands underneath it they get a view of um, rain coming down onto them and um, then they can interact with that in some way. So with that in mind um, I've had a look at a few different ways that I could achieve this. Um, one would be After Effects, so creating it using um, trap code and uh, particles basically, creating a scene in After Effects. Um, another way could be to um, use 3D, so Cinema 4D um, to just set up a, a particle scene and then use Expresso um, to create some randomness to it. The other idea we had this week was to um, film water on a black surface which we could then use um, as keyed footage. So I headed over to the London Graphics Centre this week and got some plastic mount board and some acetate and headed over to Chris's where I met Danny and Chris. Oh, and we've also got a space this week. Um, Lee and Angela have sorted us out with a, a room, which is great, because um, now we can plan um, the eventual setup at the end of year. Um, so that gives us something to move forward with. Um, and that's week two. Oh, it's pretty to see the marks.